Hey guys and gals, welcome to Nick's MySQL tutorial series. In this video, we're going to learn about joins. Uh, but before we get to that, I wanted to show you a really complex dynamic query, though uh, the query I'm going to show you is not strictly dynamic, but uh, I'll explain why it's dynamic in a minute. To kind of inspire you to what you can um, do with MySQL, how, how, how uh, complex data sets can be handled very easily with MySQL select statements. So here we go. Paste it in. So this is one of the a real query from a live application that's well live right now, and users are well. It's kind of late at night, so there's probably not very many users on the users on the system right now. But this is a live query from a live application. And you'll see it's uh, pretty dynamic. Uh, there's a lot going on here. You got a very complex set of data data that's being pulled from a, a whole bunch of different tables. We have joins on different different types of tables. We have AND statements, between statements, offset, limit, order by, group by, not equals to. It's pretty complex. Uh, date format. Not only that, uh, this statement as well is dynamically built by the application. So depending on what the user clicks, there may or may not be certain parts of the, uh, of the query. So uh, anyway, I wanted to show you a complex live query in a live application just to kind of give you an idea of what MySQL is capable of. Now, there's a lot more MySQL could do even above and beyond this, um, but in our application, this might be our, one of our more complex queries. Okay, so let's talk about joins. So the idea of a join is to essentially join table data together. So in this example, we're going to use the users table and the user types table. So let's just say on your application you want to display users on, in like a table, okay? Uh, and, and by table I mean HTML table, not a MySQL table. And but you, and you want to tie there, you want to show what user type they are in text, not the integer value. Well, how would you do that in MySQL? Well, you do it with a join. So let me show you how that look, what that looks like. So, and let's say you don't need the ID. So we'll say select. Uh, users dot first users dot last from users okay now you notice I added the users table name before um, before uh, the the column name and the reason behind that is that uh, you're forcing MySQL to, to look for this column only in this this table because with the join statement we're actually including more than one table okay so what does this look like well you see we only grab the first and last name, which is good, but we don't have user types yet. How do we get that? Well, we need to get from the from the user um, types table. So left join user types on user types dot ID equal to users dot type ID. Okay. And what this is doing is this is saying left join. So uh, if you're familiar with, with uh, discrete mathematics or, or data sets, um, uh, what you're doing is you're cutting out the the parts of the user types table that don't match this conditional. So basically, if there is a user types that doesn't match this user um, type here, then it's not going to be shown in this in in this uh, data set. Uh, that might be a, l a little bit complex. Basically, what MySQL does is it smashes the tables together. So you'll have a set of users, and each user will have one group of the user types with n with null data where they don't match. So uh, you you essentially you have, you have four rows here, and four rows here. You essentially have kind of like sixteen rows. So uh, Mike Smith is going to have a row for admin, user, manager, and CEO. But in these three rows, the user data is going to be null because it doesn't match at all anywhere, if that makes sense. So, you, so if, if you didn't have this conditional on here, and it wasn't the left join, you would actually have 16 rows. Okay? So, um, what this conditional does is it says, okay, left join, so cut out any user types that don't match this conditional. And we're matching this ID here with this ID here, and this ID here with these two IDs. Okay? So let's, let's run this select statement. Oh no, no data is shown. Well, that's because we didn't select anything in the users table, which is why you'll see earlier we forced that this column was from the users table. Now we're going to do it with the users types. So we'll say user types dot name. Okay, from users. And there you go. Now you can see 
that Mike Smith is an administrator, Terry Holden is a user, John Anderson is a user, and Alex Mark is a manager. And then you can just loop through each of these rows and display the data in whatever, you, whatever uh, web framework or whatever application, however you're doing this. Does that make sense? Okay, so there you go. That's a basic join. Now, there's a lot of different types of joins out there. Um, let's, uh, what did I do here? Oh, there you go. Oh, Chrome. Okay. Uh, MySQL, oops, MySQL join. Okay, this is kind of complex. There's a lot of different types of joins. Okay. There's inner joins, cross joins, uh, straight joins, left joins, right joins. It, it, there's a lot of different types of joins and I don't really want to get into discrete mathematics too much but um, if you want to have a, a more complex understanding of the different types of joins and I suggest that you go read um, a discrete mathematics book about data sets and that will give you a better idea of how to, uh, how to handle joins or my sequel um, a book explaining joins basically joins allow you to cut out certain sections of the data when you're querying for data that's basically what a join does okay so, uh, you'll see in the left end join, like I explained before, the, the left join is cutting out parts of the user types table that don't match this conditional when smashing the user types table onto the user's table. Hope that makes sense. Okay. So, um, now, now that we have some ideas of joins, let's, uh, let's make things even a little more complex. Okay. Let's, let's do, uh, a data set on the role. So you remember before we had select star from roles, we had roles, we also had select star from users roles, right? So you have the many to many table here that smashes users, that, that um, not smashes, excuse me, that shows what roles users have, right? Well, how, how do we combine that with the users table up here with our previous join? Well, what you could do would do another join Actually, it, before we do it, let's explain a little bit, a little bit more what's going on here, because I think maybe I left a few things out. So, uh, um, when you when you join, you say what type of join, you say what table you're joining, and then your conditional. So you could say, um, like on, which is a essentially this is a, where is sort of like an on, uh, on sort of like a where statement. So it's sort of it looks sort of like this in a way. It's just like you know where you where users type ID equals user types dot id okay on is just kind of another way of saying that but you can add more conditionals here you also say and uh and you know users id is greater than one and then that's uh users died excuse me and that's not going to show on oh, do it was a uh, so when the users id does not equal one then it won't smash do you see how that worked so it still showed the the user Mike Smith, even though his ID equals one, but it's not going to join on that user because the user IDs in it, that on on the join we're not joining when user ID is greater than one. So he doesn't he doesn't have a a, a user type. Does that make sense? I hope I clar hope that clarifies the join statement a little bit better. And if you didn't want to show Mike Smith at all, you could then say get out of the on statement and say where which starts the where for this select statement. You also see why we use on instead of where, because otherwise we couldn't distinguish between the two. And then that's not even going to show Mike Smith. See the difference there? Where the conditional is inside the join statement here, we still show Mike Smith, but we're not going to join on the user's types because the ID doesn't equal one. But here, we use the where statement on the select instead of the join, and now we're not showing Mike Smith at all because he does on the select statement, we're not matching for the user ID. Okay, that might be a little bit complex. Once again, I hope that makes sense. So now, once again, another join. Earlier, we're, we're doing initially, we want to show users' roles. So we'll do the same thing again. We'll select, uh, well, we'll just do this a little bit it's faster. Users. Let's run users roles on users um, roles dot user ID equal to users dot ID. And here user types no longer are part of it. So we'll get rid of that and we'll say um, 
users roles dot role ID. And you'll see once again that the querying uh, querying we had five matches for Mike Smith, so Mike Smith is shown five times. Um, and then we also got all his different roles. Okay. Terry Holden's has two matches because he has two different roles. Same with John Anderson and Mark uh, Alex Mark. Okay. So see how that, that join works? It smashes the two tables together, cuts out data that doesn't match. In this case, it actually matched. That's why it showed every single row. And you got multiple rows that match Mike Smith, and you get multiple data sets there. So the question then would be, how do we show the role name? Well, you just do another join again. So say left join again on the roles table on roles dot id equal to user users roles dot role id also remember we need to sh tell it what we're actually um what we're actually showing so we'll say roles dot name there you go so now instead of the id we have the actual value for display purposes we can use the id for programmatic comparisons and handling you know stuff in the back end and up here we can show displaying what the data set is um, so there you go it's kind of a basic introductory introduction to roll to joins how to do multiple joins in a row um, adding where statements with joins where they go where statements always go after the join itself um, how to do a where statement inside a join you use the on keyword and then your conditionals um, and how to select uh, what data from multiple tables in the, in, in, in the select part of the statement. Um, and there you go. Uh, one last thing before we go, I want to mention that if the next part about this is if you have name and roles, let's just say uh, we, we joined on um, user types as well. So real quick, left join user types on user types dot id equal to users dot type id and then here remember these are types also had a name as well right so you'd say user types dot name okay you'll see we have two names here i think in the next video well no we'll, we'll do it here so you'll also notice too that if, if you have a, if you are trying to grab that name in 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 uh, your application, um, it works here. You can see all the data, but the key pair is going to match, and, and you're going to lose some data. So, how would you differentiate between the two? Well, you use the as keyword. So, as user type name, and as oops, well, as role name. Now, programmatically, we can handle the difference between the two. There you go. So we've also handled as as well. I hope this video is informative, and I uh, thank you guys for watching, and gals. And if you enjoy this video, please like it. Thank you.